Hi, my name is Jesse Sasser from PictureBandit.com. And you can also check out some of my work at YouTube.com forward slash PictureBandit. I went ahead and made this video as a screen test and to give you an idea of some of the primary applications that I work with and am capable of training on. The applications I will be highlighting are programs that I have used in several projects from beginner to advanced. First in my list is the entire Adobe CS5 package to include Photoshop, which is uh, what I have open right now, Illustrator, Flash Professional, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Sound Booth, Encore, and so forth. The thing about Adobe and their package is the interface and the hotkeys are very similar for all the Adobe apps. So it, making the entire package very easy to understand and easy to train on once you've mastered just a few key points in the programs. So like I said, the menus, a lot of the menus are the same and hotkeys and a lot of the uh, items in Adobe are the same. Next application I'll hit on is um, 3D Studio Max 9. This program can be complicated and intimidating at first but can also be a very powerful tool for 3D modeling and video uh, FX. This right here was a personal project I've been working on and what I was trying to capture was a fly through of a frozen explosion scene. It was very tricky <laughs> to freeze the explosion while having the camera continue through the scene still adding post motion blur to every frame. What, what I'm talking about is you'll see that the model right here and I've exploded the model and I have the camera keyframed through the entire animation but what I wanted to do I wanted to freeze the explosion at a certain point and have my camera fly through it ultimately I was able to do this Let's see if I can pull up my animation here ultimately I was able to do this with a few lines of script all in all, very tricky project to do. And as you can see, uh, I, ma I maintained the motion blur in all of the fragments as they were blown out. The other thing on 3D Studio Max, you can see I here I have my RealFlow plugin and View 7. RealFlow plugin allows me to do some pretty convincing fluid simulations all of this this fluid simulation was actually the model was created in 3 Studio Max and and the simulation was done in RealFlow 4 View 7 Extreme this application actually brings me to the actual View 7 Extreme application and this was a this is a very useful application for creating realistic environments. I created this scene as a pilot video for a book called Strand. Post production with audio gives a, this video a few convincing realistic attributes. As you can see in the video here, I just used cityscape model and I went through and flew through adding post production. Let's see if I can pull up this video for you. So you can see there's the buildings with the motion blur and post production look pretty realistic as it's flying through. Next application is PF Track. Close some of this stuff. I have all these programs running at once kind of give you an idea of the speed of the computer I'm working with. PF Track, very good, very good program. It's a mid-level video motion tracking application which will create a 3D environment from existing video clips giving you the ability to impose CGI or uh, video FX to your project. And on this one is just a simple clip of my desk and I had four little points on here to for the 
programmed to do auto track and then and then what I did was I went ahead and imposed a bottle of water which was actually created in 3D Studio Max on top of the video and next we have last but not least ZBrush 3 ZBrush 3 is the tool for creating organic type models this is another personal project I'm very proud of called one round left as with most of my projects I started with an idea and what began as a self portrait of my head turned into a full blown model that I eventually had printed on a 3D printer into a 6 inch statue which is setting on my desk right now um, so that's uh that highlights the primary applications I find myself using on most projects however my skill set is not limited to just these programs it's just a list of applications that contain almost all the tools I have ever needed to accomplish any type of electronic media projects I hope this video was informative and I look forward to working with your company thank you